Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is the second part of the five-part video tutorial series on how to create a very simple application that enables the creation, the update, the read, and delete of certain records from our database. So in this particular project, we're doing or we're dealing with users. So last time we have created the database.php and the database class. So we already have this DB connection function and all the other uh, details on how to connect to our database. And also in the last video, we also have created the insert function and the construct function of the user class. So in this particular video, guys, we will update this update function. So we're going to be dealing with this particular function and also this two functions below, which is the delete and the re redirect URL method so first let's just start on the function for update so let's just add the uh, public function and then update and this particular method or function guys takes three parameters which is the name okay and the email and of course its id so of course this is going to be pretty standard uh, format we're going to use here uh, we will add the try and catch block so this is going to be a pdo exception and inside the try catch or the try block we will be adding the uh, statement and of course we're going to use our connection right and then repair and we'll just have to type in the uh, sql command which is update so we're going to update the users okay so set name equals to name and then of course the email will be equals to email and where id equals the supplied id so here we're gonna be using the statement and then we need to bind the parameter which is for our number one is the name of course so we'll just have to copy this line for the other parameters so the second will be for email okay and then this one also for email and then this is for our id okay you just have to make sure guys that the name here all this is the same with the uh, what we have here in the uh, SQL command so so if you are or if you're having the name here so make sure it, it is the same with this uh, parameters in the bind param uh, part so just to make sure that it is clear for you that you need to have the same uh, keyword from here and here so after this we need to execute our code so we're gonna calling the function execute and of course um, return the statement that we have here on the update function so that's pretty much it for the uh, update function so uh, we have the try and catch and also the statement and binding the parameters and executing and the last is to return the statement and of course if something bad happens here we need to display something which is we, we just have to use the e variable and the get message for us to have a very meaningful message if something uh, went wrong here at the top so there you go we have the complete 
uh, function for our update so whenever we have to call the update or update the value for our users or for example the name the email so we just have to use this function so another method that we're, that we're going to define here is the delete function so public function delete and of course this particular function takes in a id so there you go and of course as i've mentioned before we need to have this try and catch uh, statement so that we will know or the application will not exit abnormally so there you go and then the e variable so after that one i just have to copy this line and paste it here okay so i noticed that the color of my code changes because uh, i think i messed up with the double code here so i just have to add here and there you go so inside here we're going to define another variable which is the statement and uh, using our connection we're going to have the prepare function and of course our sql which is delete from uh, crude users which is our table name and the id so where id equals our parameter id so statement and then we need to bind the parameter and id so i think i will also just type it here it should be small p okay and of course i just have to return the statement here so there so that's our function delete and last function that we're going to define here is the redirect method or function so public function public fu public function redirect okay and this particular function takes in a url and header location which is the url there you go so that's the uh, user class so as a sort of review we define the constructor the uh, run query function we also have the insert the update and delete and also this last function which is redirect so the next file that we're going to modify next is the form.php so form.php file is where the adding of users and editing of users happen so we're going to add the form inside the main element here before that we need to add the heading one element that says add or edit users and this particular element has the style um, we're going to add the margin to top and set it to 10px and of course after that one we need to add a paragraph that says required fields are in asterisk it just says that all the fields with asterisk are required so basically we're just telling the users that they need to supply or they need to fill up the required fields okay so after this we need to define the form for now let's just remove the class and also the action okay and after this one we need to add a division or div element with class form group okay and of course we need to have the label for our id and of course it says or the id or the label for this is id input 
type text and the name is id we're going to add the id for this particular element which is of course value id and i think the value for this now we'll just leave it as uh, empty and we'll just set this uh, input into read only because we're not going to edit the id so the only values that are editable is the name and email so i think we just have to copy this one for our name and one for our email okay but i forgot to add a class for this so this is going to be form control so i'll just have to copy this class and paste it for the other inputs and of course this particular uh, particular label is for um, name so name and of course the name for this particular element is name and the id is id so it should not be read only and as for the value we're going to go back to this later on for setting the value for this particular input so the same thing with our email so this is go this is go this is going to be for our email so label for our email and of course the name is email and the id is of course the email so the same thing with the name it's not going to be a read only and the value is empty for now so another step is to add the placeholder for this email so placeholder is say for example jean doe at gmail.com and the this particular field is required and of course the max length for this is 100 so there you go another for this e name uh, input we need to have this required uh, attribute and max length of 100 and of course we need to also have this place holder for this particular input element so this is going to be the first name first name and last name okay and we need to add this to have the asterisk for this fields to signify that it is that this particular fields are required so after this we need to add the button for our form so input type button and the name of this is btn save the value is of course save so this particular input button we need to have the class so it should be with class btn and btn primary and another class mar margin bottom and value is 2 so for now let's just go to our browser and try to preview our form.php file so this is our website let's just refresh this and try to click on this add new So this is our website. If you try to click on this add new option, so we now have the form, we have the heading one, add or edit users, required fields are in the asterisk. So we have here the ID which is uh, read only, and the name with asterisk and also the placeholder, first name and last name and email and we have the email input and of course the submit button 
So I think that's it for this particular tutorial and we're going to continue this on the part 3 of this 5 part video tutorial series. If you're new here in our channel, please subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload. Thanks.